Hey guys, it's Tasha here. I have buffalo wild wings today. I have spicy garlic and I have one honey barbecue because I gave my kids the rest. And I have some plain here. I have some plain because I'm doing the salt and vinegar and the lemon pepper mix. But I'm about to blow you guys' minds here mm, in just a second. Because, guys, I tasted this off camera, the salt and vinegar mix. But what I did was I made a mistake. I didn't make a mistake. I poured a little bit on the spicy vinegar, I mean the spicy garlic to see if it tasted good. Oh my God, guys, it is so good. So good. So we're going to do that today. I'm going to go ahead and say grace. Grace is said, um, and um, I'm going to start off with my honey barbecue because I like the honey barbecue, but my kids really like that. So I like them honey barbecue. So, as you guys know, I got all flats. But I no longer discriminate against drums. FYI. I just really like flats. So. <clears throat> I told y'all my other video I was sick. I haven't really been feeling well, but, you know, I can't let my followers down, so. Here I am. I do get mine extra crispy because I, I I can't take no chances on chicken not being done. So. You know. I feel like you guys can't see what I'm eating. Probably should have put them on a plate or something. <coughs> so guys i got me a coat today thanks to my honey bear he got me a coat i didn't get me a coat he got me a coat 
because I'm in Michigan and it's cold, especially in the morning times when I have to get up. It'd be like with 48, 45 degrees in the morning time here. And the reason why I'm sick is because I've been going out without a coat. And I can't be doing that. So I got me a coat, y'all. You made sure I had a coat. Yep, so. And I really appreciate him. I know he's watching. He supports me so much. So thank you, babe, for my coat. Oh my goodness, they let a fly in my house. I hate flies. I hate them with a passion. My baby, my Malibu, it's flat. My car got a flat tire, so I'm driving my Uplander. And I'm so sad. I'm not sad, but I am sad because I love my Malibu because I get good gas with that. I've been driving my Uplander for two days, and I put like forty dollars in there. I'm like, uh, uh. I need my Malibu back, cause forty, I'd say fifty, almost, almost fifty dollars to fill me up, but it'll last me like a week and a half, maybe. Mm. -mm. I put twenty dollars in there yesterday morning, and then I had to throw another twenty in there this afternoon because I was about to be on E again. And I'm like, um, no, ma'am, <laughs> I can't be on E. Yeah, I am so upset. I literally. Just realized that I've been talking this whole time and I have not been recording, but I've been eating. I'm hurt. So hurt. I don't even know. Where this video left off at. Mm -mm -mm. I got four wings left, and I got to do it from there. I'm sorry, y'all. I was talking about Cardi B and how Access Hollywood basically painted out her painted her out to be a bad mom, and how she handled the situation by going live and basically cussing them out, basically saying that she's not going to touch nobody physically, but she will spit at them. And basically saying, like, I understand her frustration. I do. I understand um, how she could be upset. I do. I understand how hurtful it is to question a mom's mothering skills. I'll do that. I, I do. I understand that. I don't like when people do that um, because they know that's a woman's weak spot. You know, like. Coming for her motherhood is like coming for her heart. You know what I mean? So, I just think that I don't blame her for being upset. I don't blame her for going off. I don't. Because if it was me, I'd probably go ham. But I wouldn't have did it live on Instagram. Um, I would have called producers and my management team and all that stuff. I would have had that taken down immediately. Um, 
I would have also wanted to know who wrote that because they should not be writing nothing else about me. And it was also said that, you know, she can't keep getting into it with these um, big name, like big name, um, like public people, basically like journalists and stuff like that. But my thing is, is that the only reason why she get into it with them is because they're printing or they're putting out bad things about her. You wouldn't defend your name if it was you. Like, someone said that, oh, I'm a bad mom and I let my kids go outside with no shoes on in the wintertime. I'm going to go off because that's a lie. You're not telling the truth, for one. And for two, now you're putting my kids in jeopardy of being taken from me. And that's not okay. So, basically, I understand why Cardi is mad. I understand why she went off. Um, I just think that she could have handled it in a different way. It was hot. This is hot. So, yeah. I'm almost positive y'all missed like 10 minutes of a video. And I'm so sad. I'm so, so sad. Hmm. Bottom line is, don't come from a, don't come from, don't come for a mother's motherhood. Don't do it. And everything will be okay. And all moms out there know what I'm talking about because we do the best we can. No matter if we got money or we don't have money. And a lot of people say it's easier for celebrities. But that could be like a double-edged sword because they're getting pulled in so many directions. And at, some, at a certain extent, they have to abide because they got to make money. They got to stay relevant. They got to make money. So, yes, it, it's easier probably financially. But emotionally, it could be a strain on them because they have to basically find time or schedule time with their kids. I don't have a babysitter, so... I have time with my kids all day. When I get out of work, of course. So, for me, it's hard financially because I'm not out here big balling. But emotionally, my kids have me, you know? It, it could just be really, really hard for a celebrity to be there physically, too. Because for, like, a young child, they need that, like, bond with their parents. Father included. I'm not just speaking on the mothers because there are some fathers out here that are doing their thing. It is. I don't even know if the part that I shot at my boo out was even recorded. So I'm going to shout you out again, babe. Thank you for the coat that you bought me. I appreciate it. 
And if I just so happen to have already shouted you out and it was already recorded, I shouted you out twice. Thank you to all my supporters. Thank you, thank you. I love y'all. You guys are awesome. me. I hate when stuff gets stuck in my teeth. Because it's really hard to get stuck in my teeth. So when it's due, it's really hard for it to come out. So, y'all, that was my Buffalo Wild Wings. Y'all like my hair? Whoop, whoop. Just a little something, something, you know what I'm talking about? Just a little something, something. Oh, my goodness. It's so good. That's my Kool Aid. Raspberry lemonade and watermelon. Those are the flavors. I don't know why I like that flavor so much, but yeah. I'm um, still not drinking pop. I went from a 4X to a 3X. Now, in my 3Xs, I have room. So, I'm on the right track, you guys. Um, but when I know it's been... Almost 30 pounds that I've lost since I stopped drinking pop. Um, also, I try not to eat too late. This is my dinner. That's it and that's all. Um, I didn't eat lunch today, so I ate a muffin this morning. And then I ate this. So I haven't really been eating a lot of things. Um, but I, tried, I do try to eat. So with that being said... <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Please, let's get the subscriber count up, up, up. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. So you know anytime your girl makes a video. Bye.